everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about the top 5 most annoying Pokemon. And please enjoy. Um, use this on your team and stuff. Jirachi is a really is the second fastest Pokemon in the Pokemon universe. Combine that with speed boost, which gives you 1.5 times speed on the first round and 0.5 every other round, every round after that. Then you get a really, really, really fast thing. So how are you supposed to utilize that well? Well. Actually, there's a great way because Ninjask isn't a very good Pokemon. So with Baton Pass, you can switch to your awesome Salamence or Metagross or whatever it is and just wipe out someone's entire team. Um, I'll give you the stats and what you should teach them in in after this video. And <clears throat> so what you really do is just use the Aqua Tail and the Earthquake just to kill some other foes that are not affected to your outrage and you just outrage everyone else until everyone dies as you see just now and also give it a lumberry so it heals itself after it gets confused or you could give it a person berry um, so yeah that's the end of number five Number four is Blissey. Everyone knows that Blissey is a giant tank, but adding Wish to its moveset allows Blissey to revive itself and other teammates, which makes it an even bigger tank. Um, protect is to stall out the opponents until the Wish becomes true, and Seismic Toss consistently deals out 100 damage to all Pokemon because Blissey's attack is extremely low. Uh, I told Shaman 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 to use only special attacks because for this video only, um, Blissey can hold off a lot of a lot of special attacks. So each special attack only does like like maybe ten percent at best. Um, some others go like sixteen, but that's the most they do. All those physical attacks will do a lot of damage to Blissey, so make sure you put Blissey against some sort of like psychic Pokemon because they only have special attacks, most psychics at least. And um so it so toxic is to like wear out the opponent um if like wear out the opponent slowly wear out the opponent, especially the special attackers. Um, to, to, and you make sure you keep your HP high with Wish and Protect. And as you see, Blissey uh, can only do 100% damage with a Seismic Talk. With Seismic Toss. And uh, watch out for Umbreon's Sucker Punch. That is a physical move and um, it will do a lot of damage. As you see... Dazzling Gleam did a bunch of damage, 21%. That's a lot, but we're taking it down slowly with 40%. Um, Alakazam turned into the beast itself, but it wasn't able to take us down, so that's number 4. Um, no one would be expecting Wimiscott to be third on my list, but it actually is. It is one of the most annoying Pokemon in the entire game. With the combination of Encore, Protect, um, Substitute, and Substitute and uh, Stun Spore or Toxic, you can wipe out someone's entire team with Leech Seeding everyone. And uh, if you get Big Root, it lets you uh, suck in 1.2 three amount of damage and this way you could just keep leech seeding your the your opponent until they die while protecting and substituting which makes it really annoying and some people will quit before it is actually done so uh, as you see on the screen there are like uh, there's whimsicott like just KOing shaman shaman shaman's entire team which is consists of body sharp waylord melodic 
Embor and Gigalith, which are a bunch of really good Pokemon, and except for Gigalith, I think I don't really like him, but um, some people like him, but I don't. So, anyways, um, what Wimiscott does is just slowly suck away their their health, and a great addition to um, it has an ability called Prankster, which allows all the the status moves and moves that are that don't attack the other p opponent, um, those kind of moves will always go first. It has prior priority, and that makes it really great because when someone switches out, you have two turns to attack. I mean, uh, do one of your substitute protect or stun spore and or leech seed because they just switch Pokemon, and that way that makes it really great. So. So as you see, Whimsicott is like totally owning their team, and Whimsicott, Whim, Whimiscott, Whimsicott, Whimsicott, yeah, I can't really pronounce it. Uh, Whimsicott is a grass fairy type, so you won't have to mind about the dragon moves. Uh, another really good thing about it is that, um, you could also use leftovers like I did in this video, and, um, you could you could either use protect, um, substitute, uh, encore and encore and leech seed, or you could do instead of protect instead of uh, protect you could put in stun spore, which paralyzes the opponent like I did. But I didn't um, I didn't have the move um, toxic in my when I was playing just now, as you see, and if you Add this guy to a one v one. It will act. Well, it will ext It will kill the other opponent because um, in this video, Whimsicott successfully takes down five Pokemon, all level one hundred, and the other ones you just have to take down one Pokemon. So that will be a lot easier. But um, the bad thing is you have to be really patient if you use if you use Whimsicott because it. It usually takes like 60 some turns until it's over because leech seeding does take quite a while. The bad thing is here right now, as you've seen, I have sort of ran out of PP, so it's kind of bad. Um, but anyways, thank. This is the. Well, this is Whimsicott, and let's see number two. Okay, so number two goes to Jirachi. Everyone knows that Jirachi is a legendary, but no one really uses legendary on, on their OU team. And the great thing about Jirachi is that it has Serene Grace. I know a lot of other Pokemon have this Serene Grace, but with Iron Head and Body Slam, you can KO an entire team by making them continuously flinch. Um, flinch doesn't allow the other Pokemon to move, and with Flinch and Iron Head, I mean, sorry, Body Body Slam and Iron Head, you get an awesome Para Flinch team, which means that it flinches and gets paralyzed because Serene Grace allows secondary status moves to be doubled. Which makes it a great um, ability. So, uh, as you could see in the video, Jirachi is totally poning people by iron heading them. And see, just now it flinched and uh, and flinched again. So that happens a lot because sixty percent chance of getting a flinch. And body slam is also sixty percent of paralyzing, which is really good. And uh, when you have low HP. You go for wish, and uh, if you don't want to wait a turn and you're gonna about, about to die, you could go for the protect instead. So protect will, you know, get rid of like one turn, so you don't have to wait too long before uh, you get b before your wish comes true. So um, it does. It has. It's really resistant to um, to special moves, but Watch out for physical attack moves because it it will be really easy for it to faint. So as you see here, um, Jirachi 
can easily take down many Pokemon, including Excadrill, because of Flinch. And as you see, it just the Excadrill flinched twice and three times in a row, which makes it really easy to take down Pokemon, even if it's super effective against you. And that's about it. Um, you guys could go teach some other moves to your Jirachi, but these are the moves that I really recommend for you guys. And now for our final Pokemon, it is Nosepass. Nosepass is a great Pokemon because it is level 1 and it somehow takes down everyone with Pain Split. So in the beginning, you just go for the Toxic or Stealth Rock. Uh, and well, the other Pokemon obviously want to KO you. You'll go 1 HP because it's 30 and you can do Plane Split which halves the other person's Pokemon and yours and it heals you and makes their Pokemon makes their health really low. So that's one of the great things about uh, Nose Pass. So as you see, Nose Pass just took down an Embor, which is a great thing because Nose Pass is only level one. Embor is level a hundred, while Wailord is also level a hundred, and um, this we're gonna keep going for the Pain Split because Pain Split is the thing you need to. KO everyone with. So another good thing is to use Stealth Rock in the beginning because your own bear will, Orin Berry will fill you, um, will, will like heal you all the way. So you won't need to use Pain Split the first time. So you can use Stealth Rock and slowly hurt your opponent until it dies. Um, if you have an extra turn, if they go for like a bulk up or something, you could also go for Toxic. As you see. Uh, Nose Pass is doing really well to annoy Shaman, 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 and um, sometimes it backfires. Like as in just now, you just saw Nose Pass lost HP instead of gaining XP. Um, but usually that doesn't happen because we're really low leveled and they are really high leveled. So, so thanks to uh, Shaman, 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 my friend Vasco. He allowed us to uh, battle him, and by the way, he doesn't suck so much. I just um, this is like sort of for like committee purposes. So thank you guys for watching this top five most annoying Pokemon showdown Pokemon. This is the end of our video. Please like and subscribe, and thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. Watch our other videos, please, and we also make walkthroughs. So watch that too. Bye.